Samsung has just dropped the fifth One UI 8.0 beta update for the Galaxy S25 series, and while it fixes a ton of bugs, there's also a fun little feature in here that you're definitely going to want to try out. It's called Adaptive Clock, and honestly, it brings a whole new vibe to your lock screen. So what is it? Basically, the lock screen clock now changes its size, shape, and orientation depending on the subject in your wallpaper. If you've got a person, a pet, or any object clearly visible, the clock will adapt to the space around it, making your lock screen look way more dynamic and alive. Here's the cool part, when you move the clock around in the customization screen, it literally reshapes itself based on the outline of the subject in the wallpaper. It's a small detail, but it makes the whole lock screen feel a lot more personalized. Now if you want to try this out, here's how. Head into lock screen customization. Tap on the clock, pick a simple design, not the super fancy ones. In the font and color tab, select the second option with animations. Then under style, you can go with a stacked or horizontal design depending on your preference. And here's a pro tip. Turn on the AOB wallpaper feature. The transition from always on display to your lock screen looks really slick with adaptive clock enabled. It might be a minor update on paper, but honestly, it's these little touches that make the One UI experience stand out. So what do you think? Is adaptive clock a cool addition or just a gimmick? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's talk about it. We've got fresh news for Galaxy fans because it looks like Samsung is getting ready to roll out the Android 16 based One UI 8.0 beta for the Galaxy S23 series. Earlier this month, Samsung officially announced that the One UI 8 beta program would first launch with the Galaxy S24 lineup along with the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Fold 6 between August 11th and August 17th. Older Galaxy A, S, and Z models were scheduled to follow sometime in September. And sure enough, last week Samsung delivered, releasing the beta for six of its latest devices. But now we're already seeing the first signs of One UI 8.0 beta testing for the Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra. Tipster Tarun Vats spotted the first beta build on Samsung servers, specifically for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The firmware version is S918BXXU8Z Wave 7, which suggests internal testing has begun, usually the step just before the public rollout. So what's new in One UI 8? While it isn't as massive of an overhaul as One UI 7, there are still plenty of upgrades to get excited about. We're talking subtle design tweaks in the quick panel, a revamped quick share, improvements to Galaxy AI features like audio eraser, browsing assist, generative edit, and now brief, plus some brand new additions such as call captions and real-time text. This means Galaxy S23 users won't have to wait too long before they can start testing Samsung's latest software. So are you excited for One UI 8, or do you think it's more of a small step than a big leap? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.